I am accustomed to hearing malicious falsehoods about myself, such as that old worm-eaten chestnut that I have represented myself as indispensable. But I think I have a right to resent, to object to libelous statements about my dog. FDR in 1944, having healed a nation in the midst of fighting a world war, forced to defend his beloved Scotty named Fala from a false story floated out by his Republican critics, which somehow tonight brings us to Greg Kelly, an anchor at Newsmax. And Greg Kelly has just gone after the Biden's dog champ. He said it out loud and he said it on television. Did you see the dog? Let's get, I want to show you something I noticed. Doesn't he look a little, uh, little rough? <laughs> I love dogs, but this dog needs a, a bath and a comb and uh, all kinds of love and care. I've never seen a dog in the White House uh, like this. I've, I remember Buddy, I remember Millie, I remember lots of dogs, but not a dog who seems, I don't know. I don't know how much love and care he is getting. Let's bring in the historians. <laughs> I, I'm having fun with this, obviously, but I, I, I do want to talk about some stuff. Craig Shirley, Reagan biographer, presidential historian. Greg, welcome back. And Doug Weed, presidential historian, former advisor to George H.W. Bush. That's the White House where I remember Millie. Millie had like a staff and they really took care of her. Very beautiful dog. This dog looks like from, I'm sorry, from the junkyard. And I love that dog, but he looks like he's not been well cared for. No, not, not at all. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Uh, no, he looks very dirty and disheveled and uh, very unlike a presidential dog like uh, Millie or Victory or something else in the past in the, uh, pre in the White House. I know. Because Champ can't speak for himself, here's what you should know about the Biden's very good dog. First of all, he's 12. And if you know German Shepherds, you know that's old for that breed. They got Champ when Biden was vice president. He was so named because Biden's dad used to say to young Joe, anytime you get knocked down, Champ, get up. And they got their rescue puppy major two years ago in large part because Champ was getting so old. And think of it this way. If Champ were to meet Greg Kelly, he would probably love Greg Kelly unconditionally because that's what dogs do. Probably also why there are no dogs anchoring on Newsmax. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.